but if we actually create a pause i really really started to do that's oh my goodness my whole life has changed since i actually started having shabbat or the sabbath as people kind of oh. say i started because i was like the lord actually said to me after i just come out of this ton of bricks kind of oh, oh the ton of bricks fell in my head and and i and it was just like i'm not going to accept from rest that was how the lord said it to me he i'm not going to accept that from you and so i said okay in this new life i'm always going to have an a player if the world is is I don't nothing is in with my Shabbat. Like I'm just that day I unplug. I must have a week where I'm not everyone's. You know my phone. I don't have to answer my phone. I don't. Those days I actually don't even go on social media. That day I don't go on social media. Wow. I just yeah. It's it's really like vacation with the Lord. And it doesn't have to be like, oh, where's my Bible? Now I got to pray for five hours. No, it's actually a rest period where I just find something I enjoy doing. What do you like to do? Cross stitch. Like I do like all these random things that like, they just help me relax. And so that might be what I do on my Shabbat. Like I have all this, I'm just relaxed. I'm not thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow oh my god we need to stop you know and so i feel like when we're always rushed to we come to this place where we don't have we stop doing things that we even enjoy anything because we're in a hurry to finish it and go and do something else it's just like hmm. and so the joy that's leaving your life because you're so busy things that you're wow. not monitoring your joy your joy and it's so funny it was, i this you know you know c.s lewis and the screw tape letters yeah so you know it's like um he said there was something you know um oh what's the name the, the devil in it but you know he's writing to his new wormwood i've never new read it so i think i have not read it i know of it okay i, I, I like read bits and pieces but i know what you're talking about uh-huh okay. Okay, so is this a whole of letters that is like the devil is writing to his neighborhood and he's trying to tell him, you know, he's trying to teach him how to be a good demon or whatever, you know, it's like, I'm trying to teach you how to be a good demon. But through it, it kind of shows the things that the enemy does to um, hinder us because he's trying to teach him the strategies, right? So we, we can mm -hmm. see it from him. One of the letters he wrote to his crew tape, I think, yes. And he's writing to Wormwood, his nephew. So screw tape actually says, um, you know, like he, they really hate it when we are actually doing something we enjoy. Like that just makes them mad. Like they, they just, they do everything in this to make sure that we as believers don't do things that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so true. We may not see it that way, but really it's a strategy of the enemy to prevent us from even being happy. We don't enjoy the things that we and what happens when you're depressed. Oh. You don't suddenly, you know, I used to like, but I don't, I don't like it. I don't get you. You realize that you're under something else. You're not just sad. You lose interest in things that used to be interested in. You just lose life. You can't respond to things that you, you're that you, which, you know, if they are the wrong thing. But if they're like simple, like, you know, joyful things, opportunities that God has created him, um, then, you know, something's wrong. And so I have at least one day a week where I must do something that I'm enjoying and um, forget about and just, and, you know, the world is over there and I'm over here and my, my life. And every time I start to huh. get, get like, like something like you know feeling some kind of way i'm like what, what's going on what's going on i've missed your bot for two, two weeks that's what's wrong you know it's like i haven't even what's wrong i need to stop and really it has changed my life